Hey everybody, CBQ here, back with another edition of How It Works, and today we're going to be talking about how a mower is upfitted with autonomous capabilities. So I'm out here in the field, uh, and we've got a, a mower out here with uh, two of our field techs. We're doing some longevity testing, uh, and I've got this one here uh, that we're going to be talking about. Um, so how does a mower really get upfitted to enable the type of control that we do to enable auto striping? Well, first we have to talk about something called drive-by-wire. Now, drive-by-wire is just a fancy term for how to take digital or electronic signals and convert them into physical or mechanical signals that could enable uh, lap bar left or lap bar right uh, sort of control signals to be sent to the mower. Now, to do that, there's a protocol that cars have been using for a long time called CAN bus. CAN bus has been around for a long time. It's a very robust, rugged protocol for communication, usually used in a lot of cars and vehicles. And it's actually how a lot of the self-driving car companies like GM Cruise, Tesla, uh, the Apex AI systems all work. If you have CAN bus control, you can then enable very precise physical control of this mower. So the first step was getting CAN bus and drive-by-wire technology on a mower, and we've done it. So let's go take a look. So most of you are probably used to seeing physical linkage, uh, rods or something connecting to the hydraulics in a mower like this. Well, this mower doesn't have any. Let's take a peek at it. So my engineering team is going to kill me for showing you this because these are this is a, a prototype unit, so ignore the wiring. We're cleaning all that up. Trust me, they're already, they're already cringing about that. But uh, when we look at this, you'll notice there are no physical linkages in here. These pumps are the first of, uh, of one of a kind with uh, something built by Hydrogear. These are the SmartTech RF pumps. They're ruggedized. They've been in production, uh, excuse me, they've been in uh, development for many, many years and they've done an outstanding job with them. Let's take a, 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 even a, a quicker sort of peek at it. When you pull this off, you're gonna see these pumps right here have a cable going to them um, that is very ruggedized and uh, speaks CAN bus. So our system, as well as the actual controls themselves send a digital signal that can control pump left and pump right and it is very precise. All right, so now that we've got digital precise CAN bus control to drive by wire to be able to control this mower, how does that software, the Greensy software, basically auto stripe a lawn and give it the signals it needs to cover a lawn like this one and put down some beautiful stripes? Well, there are three things necessary. First, we need a differential drive controller. We need a closed loop wheel velocity uh, system, and we need a simple hardware interface. Now I'll break all three of those down. First thing we do is we model this robot, or excuse me, this mower in the URDF, or Universal Robot Description Format. That's all part of the robot operating system and is pretty standard on most robots. Now that we've modeled it, we've got the exact dimensions and, and uh, size of the wheels and the kinematics of this robot down, we can then take it and put it into a differential drive. Now, when some of you drive mowers, you really are doing the math kind of necessary to be able to turn and do these zero turns automatically. But in software, there's just a super simple formula for enabling a differential drive controller. That means one wheel left, one wheel right. And that's all just software and math. Next up is enabling that closed loop wheel velocity controller. So what happens when we send a command to say, let's move forward uh, is that this may be 100% forward, this may be sort of neutral, and this may be uh, sort of negative 100%. How does that translate to how fast the mower is going? Well, you can't simply plug it in because of different conditions, different wheel speed, different engine speed, different slippage. And so what we do is we are measuring the wheel velocity very quickly using an encoder, very similar, uh, very simple, uh, uh, very ruggedized hardware that measures wheel velocity at about 200 times a second. So it's constantly calculating. So if I tell, if our software tells this wheel I need this wheel to spin at three meters a second, it very quickly ramps up to a three meters a second and does it very smoothly using a PID to get there and very easily tone off. Now it doesn't jerk back and forth. We've toned all that out and it does a very good job of keeping that right at three meters a second if that's how fast we need this one to spin. Now again, if we needed to turn, we say maybe this one goes three meters this way and three meters that way and it'll do it very quickly. And as soon as it's there, the system uh, measures it and does it. And the last is that hardware interface. So that is simply how our software at the lowest level converts the ability to say, I wanna go here at this speed to the digital CAN bus signals. Now those CAN bus protocols are all very easily well-documented. And so we just use those to say, hey, do this lap bar this much 
and I'll and it'll move it that much. Now, when it's, the mower's moving, these don't actually move, which is pretty neat to see, but we are sending the exact same signals, which is also how we enable some of the e-stop and other things like that. Now, that's how it works, and that's how we enable autonomous control. Whether or not it drives as well as, say, uh, Ed Wright, who is very good at driving a mower, well, we'll have to put that to the test this season. That's it for this video. Uh, please let me know what else you'd like to see, uh, whether or not you, uh, how it works. We'd love to show you more about GPS, cameras, ultrasonics, and other details of this mower. Uh, shoot, shoot us a note in the comments and let us know what you want to see more of. Thanks again. See ya.